Hello my fellow YouTubers, welcome to this video on how to play Sudoku. I created this video for absolute beginners. This video covers the very basics of Sudoku, how the puzzle is set up, and the rules. I have other videos with basic strategies and videos where you can follow along as I solve the puzzle, but this video is strictly meant to be an introduction for the uninitiated. Let's get one thing straight about Sudoku. It is not math. We use numbers to fill in the spaces, that's true, but those are just symbols. We could use any other set of nine symbols to solve a Sudoku puzzle. Here is one using shapes. There are nine different shapes that must be used to solve this puzzle. And here is another Sudoku puzzle using animals. You get the idea, right? You can use any nine symbols or letters for Sudoku, but it's a lot easier using the numbers one through nine. That's because they are convenient and easy to recognize symbols, and since the puzzle requires nine different symbols, it's much easier to use the numbers one through nine. So, Sudoku doesn't have anything to do with math except that it uses numbers or digits as symbols. But it does use logic, which happens to be a branch of mathematics. We are not interested in doing calculations. We are interested in working out the logic behind where the digits need to be placed on the grid to solve a puzzle. To get started, we need to know some basic terminology that is used in Sudoku. There are many different types of Sudoku puzzles, but the most standard form looks like this, a 9x9 nine nine grid. Here you can see that a 9x9 nine nine grid means that there are 9 rows and 9 columns. At the intersection of each row and each column, there is a square called a cell. Anyone familiar with Excel spreadsheets will recognize the word cell. Because this is a 9x9 nine nine grid, there are 81 squares or cells. When we look at a 9x9 nine nine grid with 81 cells, we need a way to refer to each cell's location. We do this by using the rows and columns as cell references. Let's refer to the rows by using the letters A through J, and let's refer to the columns by using the numbers 1 through 9. Each 9x9 nine nine grid is broken down into smaller groups of cells that are 3x3, three three. that is 3 rows and 3 columns each. You can see this area with a red box around it. It is a 3x3 three three area consisting of 3 rows and 3 columns, making up 9 cells. An area like this is called a block. Some people also call it a box or a region, but it is more often referred to as a block in Sudoku books. Now let's take a look at the entire 9x9 nine nine grid, and you can see that the 9x9 nine nine grid is made up of 9 of these 3x3 three three blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here you can see all 9 blocks labeled. Each block is made up of 3 rows and 3 columns for a total of 9 cells in each block. We can look at the 9x9 nine nine grid in terms of groups of blocks. We have 3 groups of blocks looking across the rows. These blocks are grouped horizontally. Here you can see three sets of horizontal blocks. A set of three horizontal blocks is called a rank. We have the top rank, the middle rank, and the bottom rank. We can also look at the same 9x9 nine nine group in terms of vertical blocks. Here you can see the blocks marked off vertically, that is going down, in three groups of vertical blocks. One, two, three. A set of three vertical blocks is called a stack. Here we have the left stack, the center stack, and the right stack. Just to review, a 9x9 nine nine Sudoku puzzle is made up of three sets of horizontal blocks. Each of these is called a rank, and they go across horizontally with a top rank, a middle rank, and a bottom rank. And then we have three sets of vertical blocks, and these are called stacks, and they go down vertically. These are referred to as the left stack, the middle stack, and the right stack. As you may know, the idea behind Sudoku is to fill in the numbers 1 through 9 in each of the rows going across, there are 9 rows, in each of the columns going down, there are 9 columns, and in each of the blocks, there are 9 blocks. The numbers 1 through 9 must be used without ever repeating a number more than once. So, how do we play Sudoku? When you start a Sudoku puzzle, you will see a 9x9 nine nine grid, that means 81 cells, that are partially filled in with some numbers. 
The easy puzzles have more numbers filled in, the harder puzzles have less numbers filled in. To solve the puzzle, you must fill in the entire grid of 81 cells with the numbers 1 through 9. Let's take a look at a solved Sudoku puzzle to see what the end game is. Here you can see the same 9x9 nine nine grid, but now it is almost completely solved. You can see that there's still one cell remaining to be solved. Now, if you understood everything I've said so far, it's very easy to figure out which number belongs in that cell. First, let's remember the rules. We must use the numbers 1 through 9 in every row, every column, and every block once and only once. Let's take a look at the first row. Here we see the numbers 1 through 9 are all accounted for. You can see a 1, a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this row is completely filled in. Now take a look at this column. You can see all the numbers 1 through 9 are filled in in this column as well. Now let's take a look at this block. All the numbers except for 1 are filled in. The missing number will complete the puzzle. It is also missing a number going down this column and across this row. If you count, you can figure out which number is missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, 8. 8 is missing. So that is the one and only number that fits in this cell to complete the puzzle. Here is the solved puzzle. Every row of 9 cells has all 9 digits filled in. Every column of 9 cells has all the digits 1 through 9 filled in, and every 3x3 three three block has all the digits 1 through 9. No number is repeated in any row, column, or block. By now you get the idea. Now you need to try a puzzle on your own. The best way to start playing Sudoku is to just do it. Here's a great way to start. Go to the Washington Post website. You can use the link here and a new Sudoku puzzle will be available for you every day free. Here you can see what it looks like. Now if you go to the Chicago Tribune website you will see they also have a free daily Sudoku puzzle which looks surprisingly similar to the Washington Post puzzle. Obviously they source their puzzles from the same place. The New York Times on the other hand has different puzzles. Here's what their puzzle looks like. So from just the daily papers, you have a choice of puzzles to play with. And then there is the very wide world of the Internet. Just do a search and you will find tons of free puzzles online. So no excuses, just do it. And have fun while you're doing it. Look out for my other videos where you can follow along as I solve a Sudoku puzzle online. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Sudoku. If you did, please click the like button and comment below. Thank you for watching and have fun.